sky or winter chill If I gotta take a break I will But I'm gonna run right up this hill It's khaki. Just wanted to come on this morning, no makeup, all natural, and talk about something um, that's been on my mind this morning. I've, when I started this journey and I started doing videos to share my experience, I wanted to share the good and the bad. You know, thankfully, up until this point, it's been mostly good. Very little negative to share, but something has popped up uh, during my trip that I just got home from on Thursday that kind of take, took me by surprise. And this morning I was, st I'm still kind of jet lagged, so my schedule is still on Europe and I'm getting up very early in the morning. So I was tooling around YouTube and came across a video that was just such a serendipity. It was something that I needed to see and I wanted to talk about it with you. And it's, the topic is grieving and loss after weight loss surgery. If you are not familiar with Berry Nation, I highly suggest you go subscribe to them. They had a, an amazing video about this. It came out a couple of days ago, and like I said, I just saw it this morning. They've got a bariatric therapist, as well as a couple of bariatric patients on, and talk about this. And it was, like I said, just such an eye-opening thing for me. So, talking about what's been going on, I have done so well since my weight loss surgery. I have been able to be more physically active. I feel better than I have felt in years. And when I am home, I have really worked hard to create a safe space for myself. I avoid having anything that I know is not good for my journey in my house. I try to avoid that being in my workplace and anything that I have not been able to eat because it's not good for me, I've been able to find a substitute that satisfied me. Well, going out of that controlled environment and traveling the last couple of weeks, I did experience you know, now I have a name for it after watching that Berry Nation video, but I did experience some grief. I am I am not a sweet eater normally, and I never have been, so that's not something that I have really missed. I do, as I have talked about, have dumping. If I eat the wrong thing, it's very rare, but I do have physical symptoms of it. I get sweaty, I get tachycardic, I get nauseous, I get dizzy. And I'm actually kind of thankful for that because I feel like that is a healthy, has instilled a healthy fear in me of avoiding those things that really aren't what my body needs. But during this trip, I did have a sense of loss about not being able to experience some of the things that I might have otherwise. We did go to some part of our, we had a tour guide and she was very, in each individual country that we went to, and they were all very eager for us to experience and learn about their culture. And of course, culture to a large extent is food. I really didn't have any problems in Denmark, even though Denmark is the home of the Danish, but it didn't really bother me. You know, I, I, didn't see anything that I thought, gosh, I would have liked to have tried that. And really not in Norway, but when I got to Sweden, we did visit a lot of chocolate shops and some bakeries for coffee in the afternoons and saw a lot of things that I 
really would have liked to have tried. And I was kind of sad that I couldn't because I knew it wasn't that I couldn't make them fit into my plan, but I knew I would not feel well after eating them. And that's the last thing that you want when you're on a trip or anytime really is to feel sick. So I know my friend that I travel with, she loves sweets. She is not, our eating is very different. She is not a vegetable eater. She's not a salad eater. There were a lot of times uh, at night that she chose just to have a piece of pie. That's her choice. And she's a grown woman and that's what she feels good doing. But going to these bakeries, and there being nothing there that I could eat, you know, having a cup of coffee and thinking, gosh, I sure would like to try that pie to go along with this coffee. And knowing that a year ago I would have did give me a little bit of a sense of loss. Sweden is known for, they, they have a thing called FICA, which is basically, it's FICA is a bigger term that means coffee break. But normally during this coffee break, they try or they eat sweet rolls, especially cinnamon rolls. Our guide was so eager to share this experience with us and I couldn't do it. I knew what would happen and that kind of made me sad. It really did. Then being able, you know, when we were out and about at home, I'm much, I'm able much more, like I said, to control my environment, being out and about and looking for a place to eat and checking out the menu and realizing there really is anything on there that I could, there's something I could have eaten, but it would not have made me feel full. It would not have satiated me. I wouldn't have had that sense of satiety afterwards. You know, going to a pizza place and realizing they don't have salads and the only choice I've got is to eat the toppings off the pizza, that wasn't gonna stick with me very long. So, you know, I had to take those choices and those options in play more than I do at home. It, it was, it was difficult. And the other thing, when you go to a, a new place, and even if it's just a new restaurant, I don't know how everybody else is, but I have always wanted to try a lot of things. A year ago, going to these places, I would have had an appetizer, I would have had a salad, I would have had an entree, and I might have had a bite or two of dessert. I wouldn't have eaten all of it, but I would have tried a lot of things. And knowing that due to my restriction, I needed to select one thing, and that was going to be all I could really have, especially in a country like, or in countries like Scandinavia, when food is so expensive. Sure, I could have ordered two or three courses, had a bite of all of it. I hate to waste food. I hate to spend a lot of money for a dinner knowing that I'm not going to be able to eat a tenth of it. So I chose not to do that. And that really, you know, it, it made me sad that I felt at that point like I was missing out. Now, do I at all regret having weight loss surgery? Absolutely not. The gains in being able to do more, there were days that we walked 20,000 steps. Could I have done that a year ago? Hell no. I would have been exhausted and I would have needed a rest day after that to recover from it. Didn't faze me at all. That's a tremendous real life gain. Being able to walk up hills, being able to fit in airline seats, to not need a uh, seatbelt extender, to not have to worry when I walk in a restaurant and look around and see if there's going to be somewhere I can fit comfortably. Those gains are so much more, and they are every day and long term. The missing out on trying things, eating things, eating a huge meal, that's a short-term thing, but it was real. I, you know, I chose to have this surgery. I, ch I knew what I was getting into. 
I have no regrets. But I do have some grief related to that. And I feel like it's really important when you have an emotion to name it. And that helps you to work through it. Like I said, I just wanted to share this. I don't, you know, so much of what we see is all the positives, which believe me, I feel better than I have felt in years. I am so thankful for this tool. I am so thankful for the weight loss. A hundred plus pounds ago, I, yes, I had to alter my eating habits because I was like a, a bottomless pit. I remember going to restaurants and it being the other side, worrying about what people thought of me because I ate so much. So both sides of the equation, there are some things, there are some negative things. The positives are so much better now though. But I just wanted to talk about it to let people know if you're experiencing things like that or have experienced things like that, you're not alone. It's okay. And if you are in the process of pre-op, getting ready for surgery, just know you may experience that. It's going to be okay. I would love to hear from other folks who are in the process who have had weight loss surgery. If you've dealt with something like that, how you dealt with it, how it made you feel. If you are in the planning stages, you know, feel free to share how you think that's going to affect you. Love to have comments, love to be able to talk to folks. I will be making my regular video on Wednesday, so tune in to, to kind of see how things have gone since I got home, how my weight has been. I will be weighing again on Wednesday, so I've got my fingers crossed on that. I hope everybody has a great weekend. Bye, everybody.